You know that feeling when you nonchalantly run into a king and become best friends with him? Yeah, I don't either. But our saint of the day does. Today's saint of the day is Saint Felix. Saint Felix uh, ran into the king in the, um, uh, when the king was banished from East Anglia and he became friends with him and they, you know, he started teaching him about Christianity, he started teaching him about God, and so when the king returned to his kingdom, he asked Felix to come over and to spread Christianity in East Anglia. Uh, one of the, 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 uh, the cool things that he achieved is one of the things that he had built later became the University of Cambridge. Cool stuff, right? Okay, so what I thought was really cool about the saint or what God did in this little story is that to the king, it must have been terrible to be banished from your own kingdom. But God used this exile to bring Christianity into this kingdom. What did he do? He brought the, the saint who was open to the spirit of God and had said yes to God's will, had said yes to doing God's, God's work, and he brought him. And at some point, he brought over the king who was banished and said, hey, I need you guys to meet. I need you guys to speak. And so they did. And I, I just love the way God does that. He looked at, he took someone's, what we see from our perspective as some an, a terrible event. Even from the king's perspective himself, it must have been completely terrible. But he took that terrible event and turned it into something powerful for the king and powerful for God's glory to be shown to all these people. Had this king not been banished, this would have never happened. So think about all of these negative events that are going on in your lives and uh, just reflect on that aspect that God is using that for your glory. I know it doesn't seem like it right now. I know it seems like it's the most terrible thing in the world, and it probably is, but God is using that for your salvation and for the salvation of everyone else that you encounter, depending on, you know, the level of authority, if you will. So for, for the king, his authority, um, his jurisdiction was over the entire kingdom. And so God was able to affect the entire kingdom through this guy. Maybe you are a mother or a father and you and whatever you're going through is going to affect your children. It's going to change their perspective and they either will grow up knowing and loving God and seeing what God's mercy has done in, uh, uh, in your life. Or they would say, well, we have my look at what God did to my father or look at what God did to my mother. So that's it for today. Don't forget to like, to share and subscribe and I will see you again tomorrow.